Hey y'all, what's going on? Welcome back. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I mold my short hair. This video was recommended from my bestie. You know who you are, girl, if you're watching. Honestly, with my hair, I'm always playing in my hair, doing different stuff, coloring it, cutting it. So I have no issue with, you know, relaxing it or anything like that because I can just throw on a wig in five minutes and boom, I don't have short hair anymore, you know? So that's just me and that's how I rock. That's how I roll, you know? As long as my makeup is doing the right thing, I can pretty much wear any outfit with this hair look. I love it so much. That's why I wear it so often because it just is very versatile. I didn't have the head shape that I have. I wouldn't be rocking a slick back like this, but I love a good old slick back because it just, it does right by me, okay? If you guys wanna see how I mold my short, relaxed hair, <laughs> and see how I mold my relaxed hair, then you know what to do. Okay, so I just finished co-washing my hair, you guys, but first off, let me end up rocking a ponytail like this. You wouldn't be able to tell me nothing, okay? <laughs> gonna light some sage really quick you know to set the mood pray to the hair gods that this mold turns out how it should I'm pretty sure it will this is white sage if you don't have white sage you can use Palo Santo okay that works just as well but let's just we got our sage going now I'm ready to get into this mold fancy okay starting off the products that you're gonna need or at least what I use is mousse okay you can use any mousse that you have on hand. I just prefer the Design Essentials mousse. You're going to need a spray bottle with some water because the girl, we need to wet our hair and make sure our hair is saturated. I also use a leave-in conditioner. This is optional. I just like to make sure my hair stays hydrated. So your choice of gel, I'm using Got To Be Gel. This is also optional, but you can use um, an oil sheen hairspray or you can just use like I just have this carrot oil that I use and um, I like to put this on my hair after my mold is dried and all that stuff so my hair can be shiny. You are also going to need something for your edges. This is the edge control that I've been using lately. It's pretty straight. I like it. So that's what we rocking with. And you're going to need like a little, little brush, you know, and a little comb. But okay, so here we are. This is my hair. By the way, I am relaxed, Ivy. Also, what you're going to need are styling strips okay y'all if i don't have styling strips my molds will not come out as like like molded as i want it to be does that make sense okay 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 i haven't had coffee or anything this morning and i'm just like on 10. i'm like high off life right now okay first thing you need to do is make sure you protect your clothes so go ahead and put your towel over your neck put your towel over your neck and I'm just gonna wet my hair again. Now, usually I would do my hair first and then my makeup, but I'm recording another video right after this, so I need to be prepared. Since I already have my makeup on, I'm just keeping my head, my head tilted back so I don't like have water dripping down on my forehead. And then I take my leave-in conditioner. This one is from Jane Carter. Revitalizing leave-in conditioner it smells really good, it smells just like sunflowers. Start to just comb that leave-in through like this. Okay, so now I'm going in with my Design Essentials foam wrapping mousse. This one by far is my favorite. I've tried lots of other foaming mousses and they just don't give my hair a firm enough hold. This is the only foaming mousse that I've used that I could just wear it in my hair by itself with nothing else. No gel, no hairspray, none of that. But if I want extra hold, of course, I'll go in with like, you know, more products. But the key to a really good mold is to rub the mousse into the into your hair. Like make sure it gets, make sure your hair gets well coated with the mousse because you don't want to be out here looking crazy, okay? You notice some hairstylists, they'll like, it almost looks like they'll put too much mousse and it'll be dripping down the sides. And you'd be like, girl, like, is that enough? Okay, so I'm going to take my Got To Be Joe. 
isn't my favorite gel, but it, it gets the job done. Hands down, the best gel that I have ever tried from Care Care, the number three. That gel is so bomb. Like everyone that I put onto that gel that has tried it loves it. It's kind of hard to find, so if you do end up walking into a beauty supply and you find that gel, girl, snag it. Like, get you one or two. It can be a little bit pricey depending on where you go, but it's so worth it. I only put the gel where I need it, and for me, that's usually at my crown and then, like, right here in the middle. Once I have the product that I want, this is where I go in and I literally just start like shaping it. It's so easy, you guys. Like I don't do much. I'll just, I'll just make my part. So I'm doing my part on the right side and I'm just combing it back. Ugh, combing it back. Okay. Now, I don't bother with doing like finger waves or anything like that. I wish, like if I knew how to do finger waves, I would. But I just feel like whenever I do finger waves, they never, they just don't look right. I don't even do like little baby hairs in the front because my hair just, I don't know, my hair lays kind of weird. I just do what works for me. Thanksgiving is in two days and I'm just like, Wait a minute, like Halloween was just last week. Where, why is Thanksgiving already happening? And then next week it's about to be Christmas. So then I'll just take my little brush and just further smooth it. Y'all, when I tell you, this hairstyle is so easy. Like usually this hairstyle, when I have my hair molded like this, it'll last me like two and a half days. So I'll show you guys the back. This is how it looks. I normally just like brush everything to the center and kind of like wave this part, my little tail back there. So that's how it looks. It's super, super easy y'all. I'm gonna take a little bit of edge control because I noticed with edge control, if you put too much, it makes your edges look white after like a day. And I'll be like, who told you to show up looking ashy like this? I'm like, no. It's coming together. It's coming together. I love wearing like girly outfits and having my hair slicked back. It's just something different, you know? I can definitely pull off an androgynous look. I guess at that point it depends on like what I wear. After I slick it back, I kind of just go in to my edge right here, my little baby hair. And I'll try and do a little something. I don't get too crazy with it. Okay, that's how I'm gonna do my swirly do. I don't really do too much. I just try and bring it close together as much as possible. Like that. So we got our mold. So now I just take a little bit of hairspray. I don't always do this, but if I'm like going out or I really want like nice hold like a nice ting you know going on i'll use some hairspray so i usually use sebastian hairspray spray my hands and just smooth it over but for today i think i'm gonna focus most of this hairspray um at the crown of my head because Okay, so now for the fun part, we're gonna put on our styling strips, okay? The whole time while you're wrapping your hair, keep your head bent. And I'm just gonna kinda stretch it, stretch it. The key with wrapping your hair is to keep tension. Keep tension on both sides. Just keep going. And when I tie it, I'll take my ring finger and like place it in the middle to keep the tension. And then I'll just wrap. And what I do is I like to go at the crown and do this. This is extra, y'all, I know. 
Preferably, I would sit under a hood dryer, but your girl don't have a hood dryer, so I'm just gonna use this. So, here we go. I think we've reached a good stopping point. My hair is not 100% dry, but you know, it's dry enough. So I'm just gonna cut it. Yes, come on molds, come on mold. Not completely dry up here, but that's okay. Still a little lumpy bumpy, but that's all right, that's all right. So what you're gonna do to finish it off, just take either your oil sheen spray or oil, whatever you wanna use. I use this carrot oil because it just smells so good. And I like to focus the oil closer to my edges. Um, I don't, so I don't really put it back here because like I said, that's the part of my hair that never seems to hold that firmly so if i add oil to it it's just gonna it's definitely not gonna hold firm you know what i mean yeah that's how i mold my hair you guys i hope you enjoyed it i hope this video was helpful to those of you who have short hair just like moi i will be sure to link everything that i use down below let me know the videos that you want to see hair videos makeup videos all that jazz my fashion related videos are coming very soon style, lookbooks, hauls. I definitely want to get into that, but you know, we'll see what happens. It's, it's coming, all right? It's coming. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say except I will catch you guys in the next one. Talk to you later. Bye.